I believe we are returning. I'm looking very creepily into your mind. It feels weird. Uh, it's been a few minutes. Oh, it's right at 11.30 now. How convenient. Let's go ahead. Oh, a system update. Okay. Um, it's not like it's a 3DS that I'm trying to do custom firmware on. Let's uh, update this thing right now. Alright, let's do a quick little update. hope it doesn't show any confidential information. It, if so, I can just restart the stream. Oh boy, we got the no signal thing. It's probably because the consoles are starting. Let's give that a second to take place. Unexpected events. No signal. How sad. But look, it's back now. Uh, I don't think anything is out of frame. Uh, if anything, there's a tiny little bit of purple, but uh, it just seems as a little bit of a border for my camera. No big deal as long as all the game's in. It doesn't look bad. Let's start this thing up. I think I'm going to do a cup and try to get three stars on it. If I fail, if I succeed, I'll be done with that. And then I guess I can move on to some normal online. Uh, it would be helpful for me to actually look in the chat because I don't really need to check how the game's going. Uh, oh, uh, just check my volume real quick. Need to... Okay, yeah, seems fine right there. I don't need to press LNR even though I will anyway. What was I saying? About. Man, I really don't know what I was saying. <sighs> well, okay. Yeah, I don't need to create a tournament, that's what I was saying. Because there's not really many viewers. Alright, I'm all covered in my things there, so might as well do a mirror mode thing. I don't really have a main character. Who do I want to play as? I kind of feel like I could play as Inkling Boy. I'll go for a light blue, because why not? I don't want to make my stuff hit anything. I don't even need my things on. I could... Oh man, that should be pretty helpful for me to have my headphones into the TV so it doesn't have the echo effect. You know what? I'm going to do that. Sorry if you hear noises. In fact, uh, there may be some rustling, so I'm going to mute my mic right now. Man, you guys missed it. I was singing some bomb ass bob bomb battlefield. Yeah, bomb ass bob on battlefield. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, I don't like two wheeled bikes, so I'm gonna just go for a normal cart. How do I go for the splat buggy? Okay, is that the that's standard ATV? If I can find where it's splat buggy, okay, there it is. Eh, let's go for the ATV. Actually, I like the better speed on it. Go for the Azure Ruler, cause why not? And I love me some Zelda. And we're not on job controls. Getting in better seating situation. Sorry if there's loud noises for you. Not my problem. It's your problem. <laughs> How selfish of me to think like that. Uh, hopefully things aren't really too bad. Okay. My TV is a little off center, so let me do that. Feels so weird editing my 32 inch TV that's up on the wall like that. Eh, how about go for the flower cup? I like all these maps here. Maybe not so much about Shy Guy Falls or Twisted Mansion. I mean, I like Twisted Mansion, but it's so twisted and kind of sharp turns to make Shy Guy Falls this kind of mishmash. I mean, there's no stage I really hate in this game. Not even the Rainbow Rose or annoying ones. Can't really think of particularly bad ones. Grumble Volcano kind of comes to mind. Yeah, it is kind of annoying with all the fire enemies at the end and the stage suddenly disappearing under you. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> okay, for a second I thought I was playing on 200cc. <laughs> Not 250, but uh, 150. I could, probably should could have waited to use that. Yep, we got them purple sparts. No more Wii U playing for me unless I, for whatever reason, have to play Wii U in the case of my Switch going down or particular people I want to play with that do not have the Switch version at the ready. I'm gonna pause briefly and that Pokemon Go thing set up. So what should I change uh, my thing to Pokemon Go? Do not live stream my Pokemon Go. Just be like on Periscope or something. Yeah man, we're playing some Pokemon Go out here. How you doing everybody? How you doing? Get sending all them hearts. Oh, okay. Then I start that to happen. But at least it's after those Tauri Goombas out of the way. Oh man. Tempt fate. 
and bash your head against it, and the Goombas are growing back. Wanna grab the coins? So, there we go. Oh, yes, with my super horn, might as well save that. Eh, that's my old banana, isn't it? Or, uh, no, I used the uh, mushroom way back there, and uh, I think it was Inkly Girl. Is there even Inkly Girl here? Yeah, she's right up against me. She's winning against me. I must uh, defeat you with another mushroom, like so, and do my super cool moves and cutting corners like this and get them purple sparks. Yeah. <sighs> kind of losing my train of thought with it being close to midnight. If this goes into midnight, I'll have to do something weird with the description of the video on YouTube. Goes from uh, May 16th into May 17th, 2017. Then I accidentally put 2016 because I'm so used to writing that for videos. Instead of 2017, I decided to go 2017 instead of the very convenient 2016. Or I could just do it on the number pad. But even then, 6 kind of feels a little bit more convenient. Just because of uh, hitting the different sides of it. I am yawning and that might be a little obnoxious for people viewing. Ooh, hey sup guys, can I join? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm doing a normal cup right now, I'm doing the flower cup, but then I'll do a thing. Uh, should I do a tournament? If there won't really be people playing, I'll try to see if I can find some kind of way for you to join. I can give you my switch for the code, that's for sure, I have it written down right there. So maybe, as it's going on right here, I will get that set up for you. I'll see that along with your music, but it might not be fully matched up. Uh, I don't think it's really confidential to put down my Switch friend code, so let me just go ahead and put her in. Anybody can write that down. Da da, 9283. Uh, 618. Be my friend code, yo. So, yep, there you go. You can use that, if not for anything, if you might not be able to play tonight. I'm definitely going to try to finish this cup, unless I don't get three stars, and I'll just immediately quit all that and try to do something in the way of Wi-Fi. Uh, let me make sure that's actually right. Do 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 Yep. Yep, there we go. Let's get you out of the way of that. And here we go to Toad Harbor with the statue of Petri. Petri dish. Okay. Keep on trying. Always gonna be that one honker, but I do like the sound. Woohoo! The super happy Splatoon sounds. Oop, that might be a little bit too soon. Oh, yep. <laughs> Doesn't really happen too much. Maybe I'm just losing my cognitive distance or whatever. Cognitive load of being tired and talking and playing video games. Not run into the wall. Wait for someone to pop in front of me. So I can be like, what's poppin' B? Hey, Waluigi, sorry about that. Sorry I couldn't hit Wendy O. Koopa or the Red Shell or Inkling Girl. Okay, I hit Inkling Girl with that. I just thought it was her instead of Wendy in front of me. Maybe I just have that boy-girl rivalry being 14 years old or maybe 16 now coming up in Splatoon 2, which is coming out late for whatever reason. In July 21st, I believe. My dad's birthday is July 24th. Could it be July 27th? I'm pretty sure it's 21st. Either way, it's pretty late compared to the first game, which was like May 29th or so in 2015. Cut them corners. And of course, things can be just as harder, if not easier, with the double item thing. I mean, at Wii U, it definitely seemed kind of hard to get uh, triple ranks, or at least uh, <laughs> the way I played was. I play it, I if I win, I keep playing, but if I fail, I don't play the game for like another month or so, and then I lose the practice, so things kind of match up in the same controlled way of variables. Okay, if I'm gonna be sucking like this, I might have to opt out. Do I got a green shell snipe coming up? Or is it breaking? Oh, I'm pretty sure the trolley just hit her. So I'm not gonna consider that a green shell snipe. I just keep on thinking that I can start a collab channel with friends called the Green Shell Snipers, where we do, of course, Mario Kart and Mario Party. <laughs> But, uh, that doesn't really seem too possible, especially with the fact that I'm moving to Indiana. I mean, I guess I can do something with a cousin, but it's a younger-than-me cousin that needs to get a little bit more used to the realm of Let's Playing and also streaming, just to be sure not to keep things too confidential. I guess that's my current word of the stream, being confidential. started with, like, apprehensive, then it went to something about 
things when I was playing Monstrum, which I was playing before this. La di da. And if you're watching on YouTube, I recommend upping the speed to two times speed or whatever else you can handle. I use the HTML5 video speed controller. I sometimes watch on like 1.8. Usually I do like 1.6 where I balance things out. I start with a minute or so of 1.8, bring down to 1.8. Six and continue the video like that. Then while the outro is going on, I switch back to two times. If that's something you're into, it's definitely something I'm into because I like being efficient with life. Oh man, that wasn't too efficient doing that, but it's pretty cool to see what was behind me and not mess it up along the way. Huh. Kind of turned that around in the last lap there. Had a little bit of a bumpy second lap or so into the third lap. Halfway there with this. SND fan, if you are still here, I am still willing to play as long as we can work something out once I get done with the single player stuff. So stay tuned. Twisted Mansion seems very fun. You do have my friend code now, if you're still here, of course. Show it to viewers, so I assume it's you. I could click on the viewer list. Eh, why not? I'll pause the game. We're not in online mode. Viewer list, we got. It's only showing me, so. Eh. Uh, blah blah. I'm not gonna care too much about that. If you're here, you're here. If you show, you show. And if not, I'll just do normal, random of, uh, no, no, <laughs> random, what you call it? <laughs> Online battles on the way I could come up with the right word. Let's go to this and then we go in the hole. For whatever reason, it kind of reminds me of the monster, so to speak, of Kavall Hall Ruins and Superstar Saga, and speaking of which, there is a very potential rumor from a usually correct hacker that there is a Superstar Saga Deluxe alongside Ever Oasis, which is a confirmed game. Seems to be like Superstar Saga DX and then uh, Bowser's Minions, which must be like some kind of minigame DLC or whatever. I'm gonna run straight into that thing. No, I'm not being skillful in how I'm scratching my head and Performing live. Oh, can I go through that? Nope. <laughs> uh, trying to show off and failing in doing so. Oh, yeah, I'm in mirror mode, so the thing's right there. I just kind of go with the flow of things, and oh, I keep thinking that's my own shell. Is that my own shell? I don't know. I'm forgetting things as I go along. I like seeing the marks of the thing. They like disappear as they go, and it's like uh, walking in sand in Pokemon. You see your steps for like, I don't know, eight or so steps, and then they disappear. I'm thinking at least in terms of Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, uh, works a little bit differently in Aura, so Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and much of these things. Are these even booze? Yeah, I guess they are booze with their night helmets on. Just seems like a weird face from the outside for it to be covered uh, with a coin. Of course, I got use my coin at the point where it's at 10, where it's useless, instead of keeping it, you know, efficient and waiting until after I get hit and then. Letting it be good. Is there another thing coming for me? Oh my god, okay, bullet bill. <laughs> Not like a bullet bill is gonna hit me in first place. Of course, as soon as I say that, someone's gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna take first place now. Uh, I was trying to be skillful. Sometimes when you run into a wall, you can still keep her drifting, but it wasn't the case in this case. Haha, <laughs> I get your mushroom, Wendy. Even though you're uh, still using the thing. Okay, we are closing on the end of the lap, and I knew she was gonna do that, and I knew she was gonna take these items from me, but the items are not being taken. Alright, let's see if I can close these gaps. I'm still pretty sure we have quite a bit to go before we actually get to the end of this. Get my drift. Maybe get purple sparks. Eh, not quite. Come on, lift. Lift the hammer. In a saddle hole. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Last second clutch, I guess. Even though I've had very closer moments with a friend that I play with. We had, like, fractions of a second difference in crossing the finish line. Pretty fun times. No longer going to happen because summer break. Oh, well. Nice trace, let's go. Unless I can meet them up in person. They live kind of in my neighborhood. Of course, being in a decently sized town in Florida, nothing's really too far, especially compared to Indiana, where I will be moving over the summer, and things are just cornfield, 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 high school, small town, cornfield, cornfield, lose cell reception forever. What even is Wi Fi in Indiana? <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, we're, we're on the last race, and I might get this uh, triple star rank here. That's going to be pretty interesting. Just a couple of guys, yeah, who were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood because I was talking about a person that's in my neighborhood. Whoa. I do like the music here. Kind of reminds me of uh, 
Yoshi's Island DS and also the setting as well. And also Yoshi Falls in Yoshi's Island DS. It's like, haha, Yoshi Falls, but spoilers. I'm gonna play as Yoshi and I'm not gonna fall, or maybe I will fall just to keep up with the status quo. The way it stands, can I get up here? Oh man, it's making some weird movements and I thought I could like do tricks with that. Inkling girl, you shall not beat me. You will not divide me into pieces, okay? Super horn is nice, I'll just use it right here. Yeah, screw you, Waluigi, even though you sped past me anyway. Why do you squid at some points and then you don't squid at other points? And everybody keeps getting super horns but me. Come on now. You know, was I the one with the super horn? Yeah, I was. See, why is my memory just fading like that? Hello, Inkling Girl, you and your headphones. You really shouldn't use headphones while you're driving because you gotta listen to your surroundings of the shy guys going wah, 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 wah. Or else they would be in Bowser's inside store. Right room. Right room. That is my own bomb, even though I did the movements to put it behind me. Let's just put it behind us in the past. Let's get on the water, get rid of this ink, and then go on this and do my tricks. I was gonna do the backwards facing one instead of neutral or forward. I don't know. I'll do forward right here, even though it didn't register because I'm not going straight or fast enough in conjunction. Conjunction, conjunction. What's your function, Inkling girl? I have a bomb for you. Very nice to drop it on you. <laughs> I saw it dropping right on Waluigi. I feel sorry for that. I remember seeing a video of a frame perfect evasion with, I believe, a mushroom getting out of a blue shell. Get you like that. Uh, did I hit somebody? I don't know if it was just me going yes. Okay, must have hit somebody right there because he was doing the yes diddly. Yes doodly diddly diddly dum diddly do. There she was just walking down the street. Get out of there. And straight shot. Itch my neck. Okay, not good things. Come on, like I do. Be a good noodle and bring me forward. Come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3. I wonder if that's even more possible now that we got the Nintendo Switch. And they still use the weird excuse that you can't put normal Yoshi's Island, a Super Nintendo game, on the Wii U. Let alone on the Wii, even though we could easily emulate it. Why not just use an emulator kind of deal, which is what you kind of usually did anyway. Alright, I guess I got all the points I need for a triple star rank, so... There we go with that. I think I'm gonna move along to some online races. Pretty cool. Uh, what was I saying? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my train of thought so much. I'm so sorry. If there's anybody viewing, tell me something important of a sentence that I should have finished and the better sentence structure to use. <laughs> Let me know. Because <laughs> I, if there's anything I hate more, it's unfinished thoughts, especially when people never finish their sandwiches. Fire flower sandwich. Never bring the hammer to a gunfight. It's like that weird Mario GTA movie trailer they put on Polaris when it was known as the game station. And wasn't it something else before? I don't know, it's just Polaris now. Let's do some online play. Let's do that connection. I wonder if SD fan is trying to connect. It's only showing one viewer, which I'm pretty sure is myself. It was showing two viewers recently, and it only showed me. Let's just see if any friends are online. Uh someone else's online when different friend I had. Uh, are they always playing? Okay, I guess they're not playing right here. I guess they don't must not be online. Andrew? Who's who's Andrew? I'm not even friends with this person. I don't think so. Because I only have like two friends. This guy, I believe, and Ian's brother that recently grabbed a Switch. Burpee. Wait, these are all, are these all Josh Jepson's people? Yeah, because I was in a Josh Jepson kind of deal thing. Yeah. Ah, yes. Reminisce. I think I remember you with your weird, spidery looking face. Anyway, let's actually do some playing. <laughs> I thought I saw someone that looks like Guy Fieri there. Let's do some worldwide. I'll do some versus race. Uh, I'm not gonna stick with the character. Uh, Peach, Rosalina. I don't think I've played as Rosalina yet. You know, Rosalina is a very nice individual. We'll go with Wiggler. We'll go with Teddy Bear. Uh, I do want to have a high speed. I'll go with her on Splat Buggy. Uh, how about... I'll go with Sponge, why not? And let's see... Do, do, do. Yep, I was like going with the Highland Kite. Make sure I don't have any of the weird things on. No, if I have it on, I have it on. <laughs> uh, oh man, N64 Rainbow Road, is that even a question? <laughs> 
We could always people have chosen and other people just were random and it can actually be any stage aside from the ones that were an option. Let's get into this thing. Let's do some talking. Hello, people. What do I actually be using? Rosalina, pretty good. Yep, I don't have any of the weird stuff on. Let's get moving along. Are the courses being chosen? Yeah, I have mine chosen. We only have this amount of people in, in the room, so will we be with CPUs or will we be spectating until it's time to go? For sure. It wouldn't be showing all the stuff if I was to be spectating. Whew, warm up my hands a little bit before getting into the heat of the moment. Oop, sorry if that was a little bit noisy. Alright, 100cc, I guess that 100 means. And we're playing on N64, Rainbow Road. Gene, eighth note. T2 Justin, that's me. Clayton, blah blah blah. Alvin, angry taco. <laughs> I kind of do look like my me right now. Of course, I have my glasses on. When recently I've been wearing contacts, and why is this not starting? Okay. I love me some N64 Rainbow Road. Too short, though. But the music is just spicy. Moi moi. Or whatever it is that Georgia Beats says, Moi Moi! It's Moi Moi great! Me still do wonderful things in the world. Is that Metal Mario they're using? Or, okay. <laughs> I thought it was a Magic Koopa there for a second, but it's a me. I don't know exactly how to get Gold Mario. I just assume you get a crap ton of coins, or maybe you can use the Gold Mario Amiibo. That'd be kind of cheap, though. Unlocking one specific character from Amiibo, while Amiibos usually just give you skins for your you know, me. I'm in sixth place. I need to set things up. Of course, it's not really as disappointing because I'm playing online against people that may be infinitely better th than me or infinitely worse because you never know how things could go. But I could definitely cut corners a little bit better. Watch out for that banana empanada. They always like fake you out. Like, they're gonna go for the item, so you go for a lesser leveled one or you go for the one. Okay, I thought I could eat through the chain chomp, but of course I was proven wrong. At least speed up more than anything. That's a weird honk for Rosalina to have. You think it'd be more something like like the shaking sound effect when you're using the Wii Remote in Mario Galaxy? Or the ring or yay! That's more of a luminous sound though. Let's get down to business to defeat the taco. Oh yeah. To eat the taco more like. Oh yeah, hit you despite your three green shells. Can I hit you, man? Skillful. Of course, you stole my item so well. At least I'm doing some nice corner drifting. See, I'm not really good at using bites for that reason. I like going on the edge rather than on the inside. It's not efficient. Am I gonna secure fifth place or am I somehow gonna make it into fourth? Nope. A nice, cozy fifth place with a fall off the stage at the last second for good measure. But it doesn't matter because the race is already done. We got these people. Only eight people were playing, so they didn't toss us with CPUs. They probably should make that a thing. Two changes. Make CPU players if there aren't 12. And also make it so you can switch items. Press the Y button, maybe, and you can switch items. Maybe there is an item. Switching method. Oh, good God. If there's one stage I dislike, it's probably SNES Rainbow Road. Right? Did they have to reuse it a second? No, let's go easy. Let's go Mario Kart Stadium. Why is everybody choosing SNES Rainbow Road? I mean, it's a pre-stage and all the bombs are nice. And it's pretty cool to do tricks. There's also that really weird ramp that just, like, goes into oblivion. Or, well, there's also the ramp where if you use a mushroom, you can go pretty far with it. But, uh, just one at the side of that seems to just go into nothingness. Six minutes until midnight, so I might have to do a weird thing. Of course, I'm gonna try to play a couple more races until I actually get... A little bit tired, of course I'm leaning back from my microphone here, so this may be the first step. Man, hopefully I'm actually in frame well enough for my camera to see me, because I wasn't for a lot of monster. Let's just lean back right here. I look a little bit better than I was right here. I'm, like, I'm just like, uh, uh, oh, so hyped up. Uh, okay. And we're at 150. At least it's not 200. Uh, Angry Taco and all these wonderful people. Alvin, is that supposed to be Alvin and the Chipmunks? Because Alvin's got the red beanie on him? I don't know. Let's do the thing. More Rainbow Road. The less preferable one. Does anyone register other people's honking? Because I, I kind of feel rude if I'm just the only one doing that. Howdy people, doing all your wonderful movements and snaking. A very nice strategy to use in uh, the DS game. Oh man, that was a very disgusting sound when I'm just a uh, 
stuttering, trying to formulate my words. I'm just like, blah, 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 trying to make noise. See, that's the weird ramp, but then upcoming is the one. You know what? I'll save these mushrooms so I can actually make use of things and not run into the swamps like a dingus. Get you guys, and what do we got coming up? Uh, kaboom! Yeah, Kabooski. <laughs> It's fifth place in my happy place. Okay, I'm pretty sure I threw that ahead of me and it just curved away weirdly. Or else it went behind me. My controller was acting a little weird when I started up. I haven't played my Switch for a couple days because what was I doing? I was kind of helping around the house. I was studying for things, finals and stuff. What was the other main thing? Oh yeah, I was doing an eight day run of Pikmin 2. That's what I was doing. I want to try for a seven day run soon with using the whatever glitch where you use, where like, uh, you're on a block and then Pikmin carry an item into the ship and then you glitch into the block and you can clip out of bounds and discover blue Pikmin early, making for a one day perplexing pool. Kinda hard to do, especially if you're Steven and Mallory George, which I guess I did well enough for their, what was it, day six? Yeah. They're doing an episode per day, which <laughs> isn't something they should stick to doing because once they get to the bigger caves, they would probably have episodes over 50 minutes. So, yeah, it's not something they're going to stick to for a while. At least things might average out, at least. Kind of going into the logistics of that. Oh man, I thought I was going to get a crazy eight. I've not gotten a single crazy eight ever since I got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I've gotten quite a few in the normal game. But I don't like Waluigi. Was that even Waluigi? No, that was Yoshi. <laughs> Just the shady made it look like Waluigi on the thing and not the map on the actual stage. <laughs> I like the distant uh, mountains, the Mario World hills that have eyes. And when you beat Ludwig in Super Mario World, it goes way back in the background and causes a bandage, like just the sudden immediate bandage of that, how they protect themselves. I like all these stages, Mount Wario is a little bit peeving. I just, I just like it because it's a sectional stage. A lot of woods is kind of bland. Mario Circuit is pretty average. Let's go for Mount Wario. A lot of people seem to agree. <laughs> it uh, seems to be pretty even with the minority going for Mario Circuit. It's probably just because it's the traditional Mario Kart map to go through. Of course, it's Mario Circuit. There's one of those in every game. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? We got, we got 100 Mount Wario. Fantastic. Let's see if I can use some nice little shortcuts here. There aren't really any real shortcuts because it's a sectional map and they don't really need to implement those too much. Of course, you can like, uh, use your mushrooms to go through rough terrain like snow or other things and go past the trees in like the second, I believe, section. Can you do a trick over that? I don't believe you can. <laughs> oh, it seems like you can. Maybe if you're in 12th place and got a good enough boost at the beginning. <laughs> keep feeling like I'm getting purple sparks because I got these uh, doodly doos that are purple coming out of me. Ink jets. <laughs> if you actually had to recover your ink that would be a little bit annoying. At least really playing as the inklings. Like maybe like all the stats you see are multiplied by two but you have to recover your ink and sometimes if you use it up too much you just literally stop in your tracks. I don't know. Some weird thing that my mind formulates, uh, I'm yawning at a higher frequency, so I might have to opt out of things soon. Do get on you. <laughs> it's always such a cucking feeling when you're on a thing that would activate the paraglider, but then at the last second it changes to the other one, so you don't get anything. Oh, sharp turn here. <laughs> Kinda of reminds me of how it is in the was it the water park sage in the the second one of the mushroom cup. La di da, let's just keep on going. You know what? I want them to bring back Co Coconut Mall. Did they ever bring it back in the 3DS game, Mario Kart 7? I don't think so. There's one stage I want back, and that is a uh, Chocolate Mountain. I'm pretty sure they brought back one of them. There was like a Chocolate Mountain too. That was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure one of them was from a uh, 64 and may have been review reused. I'm pretty sure there was one. The DS version, so one of those to be reused. I don't know, I just love chocolate. Chocolate Mountain's great. And Calamari Desert, that was used in Mario Kart 7, so... And there was rumors of there being more DLC for at least the Wii U version before the Deluxe version was fully announced. So maybe that will be added as even further DLC. Let's make it Super Super Deluxe. Nintendo Super Switch. Super Nintendo Switch. And it 
has all the extra DLC that this one offers, because this one has the one that all the Wii U offers at the normal price of $60. Okay, I thought that wasn't gonna hit me. At least it took me a little bit less. And we're still dealing with eight players, aren't we? So <laughs> I may as well be in last place as we go through the stuff. Get you! Yeah, got the good feeling. Maybe we hit the item box at the same time and both got one. I don't think so. Uh, come on, why do you have to do that to me? Of course, ooh, hi. How, 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 how are you doing? Okay, I guess we have at least a couple more players. Can I mention something? What's that, fifth, sixth? Okay. <laughs> Seems to be a common trend for me to be in fifth place. All right, it's officially midnight, May seventeenth. Ooh, twelve oh one now. Okay, I did spend a little bit of extra time. Oh, here we go with the yawning. Pardon me. Again, another gentle reminder that you can speed this up if you're watching on YouTube. Even if you're watching the stream, you can uh, use that video speed controller I told you about. Bump it up to like one point one. Then after a few seconds, bump it down to like one point nine. Then smooth it out at one point oh. Uh, I like sweet sweet, but I'm gonna go for it side bite because why not? Even though that's of course quite the majority. I probably should have went for sweet sweet because it gives me that sweet sweet feeling of what's the thing? Sugarland or Sugar Rush in Wreck It Ralph? La di da. And Ralph is a player in Sega All Stars Racing. Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing transformed. Or is it the first one? I don't, I'm pretty sure that was before Wreck It Ralph. It was like. Right at the beginning of 2012, I believe. Actually, I lived in Indiana when that game was coming out, so it was like either late 2010. I'm pretty sure Jason Griffith was still the voice after Sonic. I'm pretty sure the first official game for that was Free Riders. Then Colors as a main series game. Enough about Sonic Colors, yes, please. Two of you in super high speed in this excite bike area on a Splatoon cart. <laughs> Playing as an Animal Crossing character with Zelda wheels. Oh. <laughs> Enough about all these things. Or maybe I could be playing as a me. Anyway, we will be not playing on the Wii, but on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I want to snap my fingers, but my fingers are busy moving buttons. Being great at driving. I wish you could drive a literal stick. Instead of stick shift, you can use control sticks. Even then, it may be a different experience to the driving experience. Hey, there I go, being tired and redundant. Now I do this. Let's see if I can clutch fifth place. Huh? Didn't really make the greatest use of that mushroom because I wasn't fully touching the ground. I don't need to use it right there, but I can cut to the grass here, like this, and yeah. Oh, come on, I was like in a really weird position to where it made me spin out. Pretty sure that's actually how it works in a side bike if you approach things from the wrong way. You can spin out of control. Okay, I wasn't really behind someone long enough for that to take place, I don't think. But if the game's gonna give it to me, then the game's gonna give it to me, and I'm not gonna complain. And I'm pretty damn sure that I hit an item box there, a double one of that. Probably could have even bumped around and got three, even though we can only look two at once, because this is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and that's the standard fare. I just like being able to hold a banana behind me and actually be able to get a hold of another item. Ooh, good thing I used that when I did. Probably well, was gonna wait for this to happen. But it kinda cuts me a little bit from going through that mud puddle. But <laughs> I think I timed it pretty well in uh, avoiding the lightning bolt and maximizing my profits on the chocolate puddles. But not right there with the boomerang. Haven't really seen a lot of those. Been seeing a lot of inking though. Not really too much of a big deal on the big screen. It's kind of obtrusive on the smaller screen, especially when you're playing against multiple players. What the heck is with me getting 5th place? <laughs> Boo at the last second, see if I get an item, or if it just leaves me invisible. Yes, the invisible Splatmobile. Uh, I might go for one or two more races. Doesn't really seem to be anybody here. S&D fans seem to have... seems to have left right early on after asking if they can join, which I... Would like if they could join, but oh well. I kind of consider the Sunshine Airport to be my favorite area. I don't really play too well on it, because there are kind of tight spaces to go through and weird tricks you can do, but I do like it because, well, <laughs> it's a big airport based on Mario Sunshine, and there needs to be a Mario Sunshine sequel with, there's like multiple islands. There's like a crab-shaped island, I'm pretty sure like a turtle one, or maybe this Tortimer Island in Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh. 
that would be too big of an island, or maybe the Animal Crossing characters are actually huge in comparison. It's like, uh, when you're fighting, for example, Armagoma and Twilight Princess, it could be a normal sized spider and like, could just be tiny, but... And then in Minish Cap, the Picori could be normal sized and normal Link could be a super giant, I don't know. You never know with the Zelda timeline and how it works. Uh, you can assume things, but things are not to be assumed. Okay, I thought we were going without a full map. I don't know why I needed to count down when everybody was making their selection. Are we going with such an airport? Yes, we are. Uh, it'd be kind of dick and ship it switched to a bull volcano at the last moment. I don't know why I was hesitating. Going with some average difficulty. Marcos, Marcos, whatever you want to say. Mark. Who's Marco Console? Why am I saying this so much? Joe Trademark. Oh, you own the name. Yeah, you own that name, boy. <laughs> Yellow Piantos with the same voice actors, I'm pretty sure, at least the female ones. Pretty sure the same voice actor that voices Toad? No, actually, the one that voices Bowser Jr. is not Dolores Rogers. Actually, it is Dolores Rogers. It's someone else that voices, voices Bart Simpson. They just sound so similar. Similiar, similar. I saw a video of the person that voices Bart Simpson, I don't even know her name, uh, talking to a 13 year old kid that didn't even seem like he was 13, seems older than me, and I'm a little bit later in those years, oh boy, but yeah, he didn't even realize, he just thought she was doing an impression, it's like, oh impression, really, I am Bart Simpson, and that sounds nothing like it, I don't even know what I sound like, a lot of people say I sound like Clyde from South Park, which, uh, I guess can kind of be a relatable thing. I kind of looked it up. Not really super big on South Park. I mean, <laughs> I enjoy the humor. I just don't really watch it too much. And I was, I'm pretty sure I was talking during Monstrum about how I want to try to start watching Rick and Morty, among my other shows. I'm watching Better Call Saul, of course. Walking Dead is off season. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead starts on June 4th, June 6th, one of those days. I'll just take that. <laughs> Good thing that shell disappeared when it did. See, I'm not really doing too great. I'm playing what I consider to be my favorite course. I just love me some sunshine, man. I'm driving on sunshine. Blue shell. That's like the most rare item for you to get, especially if you're so used to being in the higher up places where you just get green shell, banana, coin, 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 banana. Ooh, triple banana. Another green shell. The occasional mushroom or super horn to avoid blue shells in first place for yourself. Cut through the corners and go through like that. Are we playing on mirror mode? No, we're playing on normal mode. It's like, wait a second. I feel all disorientated, aided, aided, inflated. I want to play. It's kind of precarious to have the airport go airport airport go directly into the well, or the plane go directly into the airport of the path. I think you get what I'm trying to say. It's a really weird setup and all this water around is just not really safe. I've looked up like the most dangerous airports to do. I forget where one is but there's like a very short landing space. I'm pretty sure like only one air airplane can be in the area at a time. Or maybe I'm just thinking a little bit too much into it. But either way it's pretty precarious and you gotta commend pilots for for one being able to overcome any potential fears of heights and going up that far. I'm pretty sure it's mostly just all the air traffic controllers anyway. You don't have to worry too much about flying planes, you just have to worry about making sure you're still on track and keeping tabs on all the machinery. It's more of a engineering kind of thing more than anything. Of course I'm only making assumptions, of course you do have to actually steer the plane and stuff, but wonderful technology prevents you from having to do way too much and having a castaway style crash. I love Toaster and Pike, but I don't think a lot of people will choose Neo Bowser City, even though they might. Uh, okay, we got a lot of people choosing Turnpike. I'm fine with any of these places. Goldmine, I've kind of been there a lot recently because I've been failing that particular cup and trying to get three star ranks, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Go easy on me, because I'm such a bad player. Alright, people are choosing random, so it could be anything aside from those, or, well, I mean, it could still be those, but it could be anything else as well. 
Let's see what we got. It kinda seems like we are going to land on that. No, mine in particular, which mine was the only one that chose Neo Bowser City, unless uh, one of the later people chose it. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure I'm in frame when I'm leaning back like this. Yeah, pretty good. My face is still in, so I guess you can see my facial reactions. And here we go, this may very well be my last one with how tired I'm being. 12.10. I just don't want to keep going and going into these races. Alright, here we go, Toad's Turnpike. It's a fun place. I love it very much. It's uh, a lot different in Mario Kart 64. There seems to be a lot more vehicles for you to run into. Are they even vehicles to run into? I'm sure they are, yeah. And, uh, ooh, cool. Another stage that can bring you back is uh, <laughs> the N64. I'm pretty sure it's for the circuit. It's kind of weird though. There is Wario Stadium in this game, but it's the GameCube one, I believe. Or do I know? Waluigi Stadium? Was that GameCube? No. Waluigi Stadium was the one unique to Wii, I'm pretty sure. But then, uh, Wario Stadium was GameCube and brought back for this. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Watch out of the way of the bomb, even though it could have still been in the blast zone. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, they could bring back the. Wario Stadium circuit or whatever of Mario Kart 64 would be a fun stage. Also, remember it being particularly long. I mean, Rainbow Road 64 was pretty long, but so much more beautiful in my opinion in Mario Kart 8. So why could they not make it long just for that that celebratory feeling? I mean, it's like the cover on this for Christ Doodle sake. I was trying to just go straight up and say for F word's sake. I don't know. I'm not against saying the word, I say it outside of video making, but I don't know, it feels like taboo. No, not the villain of Subspace Emissary to say odd words on Twitch, even though people do say some odd things on Twitch. They get their dank memeage going and may accidentally drop in bombs, of course, either satirically or sarcastically, but not always the greatest idea. Try to keep things as centralized as possible to keep your viewer attrition. Actually, attrition is like a the ability to drop out. Uh, trying to make sense out of things with psychological terms. Dang, I'm in tenth place, so well, might as well bump my way back up. Always keep thinking that's the end of the map right there. Oh boy, I just keep chugging along like this. Use the queen mushroom as much as I can. <laughs> Everything's bumping. Everybody's listening to their wonderful hip-hop music on the wrong side of the road here. Uh, yeah, I guess we could be in America. Uh, no, it's actually maybe a European style because we're going forward. And yeah. I'm trying to make sense things. Uh, let's just... Let's try to see if I can hit that ramp on the way out. Okay. 1336, uh, not quite 1337. Uh, Alright, we'll see what maps there are. If there's something I'm particularly interested in, I'll do one more. That will be my very last one. Yoshi Valley. I love me some Yoshi Valley. Let's do it. Piranha Plant Slide. I don't really like it as much, but... Afro Man. I'm pretty sure that's you that chose it. The only person with that real skin tone, really. <laughs> Unless Afro left. Let's just... Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Good luck to everybody. I'm really liking the female there with the red rim glasses and white hair just very shimmery and shiny probably as a result of the super cool casual dude with the crown on only one in blue coloring I mean my good boy afro is all greened up and then there's the guy down there with his eyelashes I mean those more like a facial marks for eye bag <coughs> ooh ugh, that's disgusting eye bags under his eyes, you know, of being tired, like for me. Not look like I really need to worry about being early. I do have to be early on Thursday, though, which is technically tomorrow because we are into Wednesday. Eh, there we go. Is that Western or Western? I don't know. Pretty sure I've been playing against the guy, and oh man, it's so weird to see Link on a splat buggy. <laughs> be even better if he had the Animal Crossing tires just to get that crossover thing going cheese land <laughs> why are we in cheese land Corey, okay <laughs> if there's something i particularly like at the end i'll just keep on going until i'm just like screw it i'm going to bed mate cheese land's a weird place 
don't really hear the music too much because it's just going zoom and we were. Of course, uh, you'll always recognize the more classic things. I mean, uh, the Game Boy Mario Kart is probably objectively the worst one. But it's not as fun moments. Definitely has some weird controls for Game Boy, and especially with it being remade on Wii U. We'll just see how things go. Might want to see some Yoshi Valley action if it appears again. Oh, heck, I'd even be fine with some more N64 Rainbow Road. Because there's never anything wrong with that place. Aside from the people like, Hey, Rainbow Road, we're going to fill up the stage and it's horrible. It's always the Wii one which gets the bad, bad stigma. I'm pretty sure it is objectively the most difficult one. Because other ones are just fun. I think the GameCube one is just uh, pish posh. Has a lot of guardrails. The S1 I think has a lot of guardrails too, even though the Wii one does as well. But I don't know. The Wii one seems to get the most flat, flat, not flat. And I'm pretty sure the one in Mario Kart 7 on 3DS is the one that has multiple sections. I mean, like Rainbow Road 64 in this game, but you know, and uh, the normal Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road is just uh, three lap things with mostly is it like. Is it, uh, anti-gravity all the way through? I mean, like, yeah, you're in space. Kind of reminds me of the Deadline or whatever. Stages, Final Rush of Sonic Adventure 2. I might do Sonic Adventure 1 soon as a Let's Play. I think in my next Sonic Let's Play, whenever I get around to one, would probably be Rush Adventure, just to keep that balance between 2D games and 3D games, even though, yeah, uh, Unleashed was the only 3D game I've done. I mean, I don't want to keep my pattern of gaming too similar, and uh, if I'm thinking about a Sonic game soon, I might also be thinking of a different Zelda game, so I might want to branch things out a little bit, might do Bowser's Inside Story soon. Of course, I posted that picture on Twitter, not really falling too true with it, and that I still am doing Undertale. Doing these live streams as well, and why am I still doing the fifth place kind of deal? Oh well. Let's see how it catches up at the end, a few seconds there, when I get spooched on by the inky do. Inkling. Hopefully I'm not too quiet being back here. Of course I have my game turned down a little bit. I've done quite a few races, and Rosalina must be in pain. It's probably why she has that very skin-tight suit on her. What stages do we get? Sorry to just jump. You know what? Let's try to get Sweet Sweet Canyon. Rainbow Road is there, but... A lot, I'm sure a lot of people will choose it. Let's try to go for a treat, Sweet Sweet Canyon. <laughs> Don't be a weirdo and go for Cloud Top Cruise. I mean, it's a pretty fun stage, but we got N64 Rainbow Road and the pretty looking Sweet Sweet Canyon. It is a canyon, right? Yeah. <laughs> because it's like peaks and valleys, highs and lows that you go through. So we have decent chances of going just about anywhere. Dan, not Dan said and Brainy of the Steven crew. Uh, do we have 11 or 12 here? We got 3, 6, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. We got 12 people. Just, uh, one person hasn't chosen. Of course, I can just count the portraits instead of actually people down there. Alright, one more for Sweet Sweet Cannon. See if we'll end up there. Uh, judging by how it's going, it might end up on, yeah. When it was slowing down the last few seconds, it could either end up mine or just go through all the Rainbow Road ones. Oh well, guess we're going to be starting and ending on N64 Rainbow Road. Seems like a fitting way to do things. Unless there's something I really, 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 really want to go to. Which, yeah. Hey, I see a gold Mario up there and a lot of people playing as Dry Bones. Dry Bones is considerably my main in uh, Mario Kart Wii. It used to be with a bullet bike, but I've gotten better at playing with a manual and actual GameCube controllers instead of the poopy ass uh, Wii Remote. We will play with a GameCube controller, heck even a classic controller, with manual controls so you can do your drifting. <laughs> a lot of people don't even know you can drift in Mario Kart Wii because of those reasons. It's like, I just love acting like you're actually driving and it's so cool. Oh man, you gotta play with sticks to keep it precise because this doesn't have the ecological validity of mundane realism, actual driving. Yeah, I've taken a psychology exam, you have to know a lot of lingo such as that. I'm done with it, the stress is over, I'm pretty sure I'm past. You need at least, like, what, 35, about a 150 marks to get an E, which an E is a passing rate, but I would have liked to got something better. I'll just have to see, I guess, by August, 
is when my final score is getting for that. We'll just have to see. Maybe I'll... Maybe I got a C, which is like a 60 or so points. Even to get an A, you need like, what, 75 or above? I don't know, maybe 80 or so. I uh, don't know for sure exactly how it works, but... You pass, you still get college credit, and it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, get these corners through. Already on the final section, and oh man, I was debating on sticking through, going to the left, or going to the right, try, try to get the double item. Uh, you're kind of closing in on me. What are you back there, Waluigi? Oh man, that was pretty close. Uh, let's see if I can end in fifth place again. Steal me an item. Oh yeah, pass through that, Mr. Krabs. Oh, did I get something stolen from me? Wow, I am ending in fifth place again. I don't know. I'm just number five today. I don't only have a common number five monster. I had like 20,000 glow sticks on me at all times. Alright, I think I've had my fun. Nice place to start and end with my spongy wheels. This looks like a... I'm trying to think of some kind of Pikmin enemy that it looks like maybe a decorated cannon beetle, even though they're red. They have a little bit of a hint of yellow. Uh, electro drum is pretty fun. It's kind of weird because it should be electro dome because you can see like the dome shape and it's like a drone of droning on and on. 1350 coins, new vehicle customization option, and it's pretty cool. Ah, I love just looking at the world. Is that Africa? Yeah, it's Africa. Of course, I gotta recognize Africa. There's the toad flying in space. Take off your helmet. You'll be fine. Your mushroom. Don't they grow mushrooms in space? That's a wonderful experiment. One less toad to worry about. Anyway, let me get more in frame of my camera and closer to my microphone. Set you down. See how things going on Pokemon Go. I see a Pidgeotto and a Rattatub, but I don't really need to catch anything. I have like 30 of every type of ball, but I'll just catch any rare things if I see them and have my first catch of the day. Maybe be like a Pidgey, so I can have a lot of those to evolve when I use a lucky egg. Because I'm only at level 25. Only like, what, a sixth of the way through that level? like 125 or 150,000 points. Anyway, let me go to there and look very creepily into this thing. Nicholas Cage or the little baby's ice cream. I should just grow, go grab the rest of the vanilla ice cream I have, which isn't very much. I should probably text my mom to grab some vanilla ice cream because she's at work right now at Walmart. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into my phone and tell my mom to get some dang vanilla ice cream. Even though it's been Mother's Day and I shouldn't really be ordering to do anything. At least I've been helping around the house finalizing some things we need to put together before we move. <coughs> That's not a yawn really, it's just the weakness of coughing. Alright. Uh, how about some vanilla ice cream? Because <laughs> we low. That's what I'm putting exactly. Lepo. Autocorrect to low. Very good. Please. Yeah, right down, down to. I'll be nice to me, mama. Anyway, yeah, I think I've had my fun tonight. Uh, what time? 12.23, what time did I start? Uh, it was about 11. Uh, 11.30 still, so we are just about an hour into Mario Kart, I'm pretty sure. But I think I've had my fun for tonight. I'm going too long at the end of everything and not really doing anything, so. Uh, yep. If you're watching on YouTube, of course, do the speed up thing. Of course, I keep on dragging the video along, and we're at the end of the video anyway. End of the stream. I should check the chat, see if anybody's here. Nope, nobody's really said anything. Only person that commented was SND fan 456 Shout out to you, even though you didn't really stick around too much. Oh well, I understand if you were busy. I do believe I'm done here. I've had my fun, as I said a lot of times. I may be sounding kind of monotone and how I just keep on talking like this with my strange inflections, but yeah. Here comes my count down to ending the stream. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Goodbye, Purple Toad.